uh, let's do this pro let's do this problem right here the question is asking find the null space a and the second question is what is the rank of a so first of all uh, to find the null space a let's see what you can do so first of all i copy this matrix down so it's going to be 1 1 0 2 and the second one is 0 0 1 minus 3 so to find the null space a we have to bring this into a format that the ax, ax is equal to 0 capital 0 so in this case this is going to be equal to 0 right so in the other hand uh, i have to bring this one into 0 and we don't have to do the ghost jordan because the ghost jordan is already done according to ghost jordan uh, whatever the value below pivots and the above pivots should be equal to 0 in this case it's already given in the ghost jordan pattern so we don't have to do anything about that but the only thing we have to do is we have to find the free variables in this case uh, we have to basically free variables whatever the values does, does it, whatever the column that doesn't have pivots so in this case we have a column uh, let's say let's say this x1 x2 x3 x4 in this in this case uh, we don't have pivots in the x2 column therefore x2 is one of my free variable and x4 also doesn't have uh, pivots in this column therefore x4 also my one of my free variable so these two are my free variables free variables therefore i have to write my final answer in terms of free variables so in this case uh, i can create two set two equations the first equation is going to be x1 plus x2 plus 0 x3 plus 2 x4 is equal to 0 and the second one is uh, x x3 minus x4 is equal to 0 so now we remember we have to write everything in terms of uh, x2 and x4 because those are the free variables right so uh, to make the first equation in to, to write the first equation in terms of free variables I can eliminate the 0 x3 because 0 means does nothing right so in this case uh, I can write the x1 as x1 is equal to minus x2 minus 2 x4 so this is x1 in terms of free variables and the second uh, equation is going to be x3 is equal to x3 is equal to x4 so we have written we have written everything in terms of free, vari free variables now we have to arrange it in a format so let's write it down write this one down so it's going to be uh, first of all x1 in terms for x1 i have to write this one x uh, minus x2 minus 2 x4 for x2 x2 is going to be x2 itself because it's a free variable and x3 for x3 i have to write x4 and for x4 it's going to be x4 because x4 is a free variable <coughs> now what we have to do is we have to since we have two different kind of free variables to write this in terms of null space what I have to do is I have to take one of, one of them common first of all if I take the x2 common what's going to happen so we are going to have minus 1 here minus 1 in the first one second one this is going to be 1 and the third one we don't have any x2 therefore this is going to be 0 and the fourth one we don't have any x2 therefore this is also going to be a 0 and then if I take the x4 common what's going to happen is this is going to become minus 2 and the second one we don't have any x4 that's going to become 0 and the third one we have 1 x4 therefore this is going to become 1 and the fourth one we have 1 x4 therefore this is also going to become 1 so these are my uh, these are my values for free variables values in terms of free variables so let's make sure we got everything right so this is uh, actually I, I made a mistake right here this this should be minus 3x4 this is minus 3x4 therefore this should be x3 is equal to 3x4 therefore we have to write here 3x4 this is going to be 3 this is going to be 3 and that's how it's done and this is going to be equal to null space a but if you want to give it in a more simplified form we have to give it into null space a that's going to be span of so span of minus 1 minus 1 1 0 0 and the other one is going to be minus 2 0 3 1 this is the most preferred method uh, preferred way to write and this is my final answer and that's it that's how it's done i hope you guys like this video see you next time but oh and one we have we had to we had to do one more question right here the b question this is a part and b, b part is asking for the rank a 
uh, rank is very simple it's number of number of pivots or number of linearly independent vectors uh, in this case we have two, two pivots so therefore rank is going to be equal to two rank is equal to two and that's all it is i hope you guys like this video see you next time